Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome to breakfast. We shall serve the Lord. Welcome to breakfast at Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome. Good morning. Happy Friday. begin to share you are all that matters you are all that matters thank you Jesus hallelujah let us worship God let us worship him Jesus, you are all that matters. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. What would I be doing if I didn't have Jesus? What would I become? Without the Holy Ghost, we are nothing. Where would I be? If it wasn't for Jesus Christ in my life, I would be out in the world. Probably I would be dead and buried. Hallelujah. There would be no one praying for my children. Where would you be if it wasn't for the Lord who is on your side? Where? Where would you be? Where will you be if he take the Holy Ghost? Where will you be? Let's put him in front this morning. A front, in front of everything that we are about to do. Jesus. Glory to God. Let's put him in front. Let's put him in front. Money cannot save us. Some people have money and they cannot spend it. They have to set it aside to pay for problems, sickness, trouble. Only God can save us. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. My God. Where would we be this morning if it wasn't for the Lord who is on our side? Makada bakuro bokushaya. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody open your mouth and begin to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let us pray, people of God. Let us pray. Let us pray. Many of us don't understand the power in prayer. Many of us don't understand how powerful prayer is. Our own prayer, when we live our life to please God and we open our mouth and pray, things will happen. Miracle will take place. When you're living your labakorobo koshaya, open your mouth and pray. Let us give God thanks. Let us tell him thanks. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we are here one more time to pray. Fill us up with your word. And therefore, Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to loose the tongue of your people, oh God. Loose the tongue of your people this hour. Let your will be done in their life according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, my God, my God, I give you thanks this morning. I give you praise. I have your way this morning, oh God. We are here presenting, oh God, moment, taking moment out of our time to pray, Lord God. And we say thank you for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for this moment to cry out to you. Lord, we invite you this hour in our presence. Holy Spirit, welcome. We welcome you. Glory to God. We welcome you this hour. Ah, come and dine with us. Come and have your way. Makoroboko Sadaba. We welcome you. We be koroboko shaka sataya. Mighty God this morning. We welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst, Lord God. Let your will be done. You said you leave us the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to guide us, to teach us. Show up, Holy Spirit. Show up. Show up, Lord. Have your way in our midst. We cry out to you, O God. Hear our cry. Hear our cry. Hear our cry, mighty God. Take away this feeling of nervousness from your people. The feeling of fear. My God, remove it from your people. We call out for good news from the east. We cry out for good news from the west. We cry out for good news from the north. And good news from the south in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Good news from the four corners of the earth. Victory from the four corners of the earth. Healing from the four corners of the earth. Deliverance from the four corners of the earth. Breakthrough from the four corners. Favor from the four corners of the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Even now, O oh God, we say thank you for what you're about to do. We say thank you, Jesus, for what you're getting ready to do in our midst. We cry out for the favor of God, for the favor of man, for favor with man and favor with God, for favor in the courtroom, for favor in the, in, in, in the hospital, for favor, oh God, in the operation room. We cry out for favor with the insurance company, for favor with the bank, for favor with immigration. Lord God, we cry out for favor in ministry. We cry out in the name of Jesus Christ. We cry out today. Hear our cry, O oh God. From the ends of the earth, we cry out to you. When our heart is overwhelmed, thank you, Jesus. Lead us to the rock that is higher than high. 
my God, for thou art build a shelter for us and a strong tower against the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Even now, I cover myself. I cover your people that are here. Wherever my children are located today, Lord, send angels a favor to be with them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decree and we declare every spoken word. My God, to get up all the way to heaven. It will reach heaven. Heaven will answer. Heaven will answer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. People of God, we need to pray more. We need to pray more. We talk too much. We are spending too much time on the phone. We need to spend more time in prayer with God. We need to spend more time in our prayer closet. There is too much going on out in the world. We need to spend more time with God. I encourage somebody right now to go ahead and begin to share this message. Lord of mercy. Hallelujah. We need to spend more time with God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We need to spend more time. We need to spend quality time with Jesus. We need to stay on our knees in prayer. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. My God, somebody need to go ahead and share. Share this message and watch God bless you. You see, a lot of us don't understand. When you share the message, you're in agreement. You see, the reason why some people, they will just show up on the platform and receive their breakthrough. Even if it's the first time. Because they are in agreement with the word. You come in agreement with the word of God and you begin to share it. So other people can be blessed. Many of you, you know where your breakthrough is? When you learn to forgive. Your breakthrough will come. Jesus. Glory to God. It's time to share the broadcast. Sharing it means that you believe in the Almighty God. The word of the power of the Almighty God that is alive here. Sharing and loving and caring. My God, for those who you love, share the word with them so they can be blessed. Don't keep it to yourself. When, if you don't share, that won't stop pastor from preaching. Let me share something with you. And when you share, it, it still don't stop the anointing that is flowing. But the issue, when you share, it proves that you understand what God is doing right here. And you're in agreement with the anointing that is flowing. You're coming in agreement with what God is doing. I encourage you to go ahead. Take a moment and begin to share. Share with some people that you don't talk to in a while. Let them know that you are a changed person. Let them, know, let them see what you're doing with the Lord. You are practicing evangelism. It is evangelism. We go on broadcast and we are being blessed. And nobody knows where we are going because we are keeping it to ourselves. Why? Why? You say you love the Lord. You say you love the Lord. And we believe that you love. We believe that you love the Lord because you are here. My God. Let us, let, let us go back into prayer for another minute or two. Let it back. I, I feel the I feel the urge. I'm led to pray. 
let us enter into prayer one more time just for a minute or two I, I don't know who the Lord is releasing but let us just enter back into prayer right now let us enter into prayer let us be in the mood to pray let us enter into prayer mode you know when you're driving and you set the vehicle on overdrive and your job code book satire let us go in overdrive this morning in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ somebody need to be free somebody need to be released let us let us talk to God let us tell him something right now let us tell God something I know you came for the word but I came to let you know the word is already in you open your mouth and talk to God Open your mouth and talk to God. The word is already in you. The Bible reminds you, it says, greater is he. Greater is he that is in you. My God, open your mouth and talk to God. Release a word this morning. Release a word out of your belly. The Bible makes it clear. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Somebody told me yesterday, that they were entering the highway. And right as they were entering the highway, they begin to ask God for protection. They were praying for protection. And as they got up on the highway and begin to move to Bukosheka Sataya, there was an accident. The car in front of this driver, my God, there was Boko Dodo Boko Shaya. I don't know who God is using me to talk to, but let us enter into prayer. I'm led to pray again. Lord, have your way this morning. Take full control of those who are about to conduct business today, Lord. Somebody's about to be robbed, but we remember we chop off that hand. Every deception that will take place with your people today. We put an end to it. We put a stop order to the spirit of death. We cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every death sentence. Man to the book of satire. We cancel it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the enemy. To shut you down. To stop you. Today we stop them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is going wrong in your life. Today we turn it around. My God somebody said turn it around. Your words are powerful. Open your mouth and talk to God. Every Everything that is going wrong. We turn it around. Somebody said turn it around for my God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. This is going to sound funny. But the Lord is ministering to me. Somebody you are here. And every piece of your clothes is tight. Jesus. You have. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We bind up this spirit of sickness right now. It's not your personal weight that you gain. It's not physical weight that you gain. It is something that's going on in your body. And every sickness that is causing you to be puffed up, to gain weight, so your clothes are uncomfortable. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cancel this sickness right now. We bind it up in the name of Jesus. We root it out and we bind it up. In Every sickness that's going on, the known and the unknown, mighty God, your clothes, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We send that sickness back to the sender. Glory to God. I feel led to pray. We send it back. Every sickness in the body. Somebody go ahead and begin to share. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and begin to share. 
Rantarabaku soto korobuko sabaru kusa Naradaba korabaku shikaraba ya kushiku Rodundu korobuko saraba Radaba kunda la baya de kishi de beku soto Ekorobuko sarababa kusha Malana la kashandurubu kusata Yadadada kodebeke de beke soto The angel of the Lord is here Raya da baba kesete Roko todo boko sata Rela baya de kishi amama Soto, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every sickness in your body, I uproot it right now. I uproot it right now. I uproot it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. The woman said to me, I stopped eating rice, I stopped eating bread, and, and, and the bleeding slowed down. I said, listen to me, woman, when did the Lord bring me to Florida? Let me tell you what happened. You came to revival, and the Lord used me to lay hands on you, and you receive your deliverance. Glory to God. The Lord is doing sabakorobuko shiribiko sataya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is about to be set free. I hear the Lord said, I'm releasing you from prison. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was going on that held you back. I release you today. Raya da babako shika sataya. Wilfred Campbell. You always know that there is something wrong in your life. And you cannot put your finger on it. Today is your day. I hear the Lord said I should tell you. You're coming out of that spiritual prison. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm releasing you now. I'm releasing you now. I'm releasing you now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release you. I open the doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm releasing my son. I'm releasing my daughter. Rodobo. Somebody open your mouth and begin to declare a word. Mighty God, release your children, oh God. Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Raya Baba Kosheba Kosataya. Release them now, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Release your children. Release your children. You said the weapons of our warfare. It's not carnal. But it's mighty true God. To the pulling down of stronghold. Casting down every satire, Every imagination. And every eye thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in your life. Today we pull it down. Every stronghold in your life. Oh God. Today we pull it down. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Every stronghold sister Marcia Jones. Mighty God. Everything that you are facing every bakosheka sata every demon kataka that you have been facing that you are fighting i'm standing with you and i bakodebe kosoto in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and pray glory bakodobo kosoto in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah Somebody better go ahead and begin to share this broadcast because I'm setting some things on fire in the realms of the spirit. Glory to God. I'm, I'm, I'm setting some things on fire right now. Beverly Campbell, everything that they did to slow you down. My God. The Lord is speaking to me about a friend of yours. You left your friend in Jamaica. And this friend desire for you not to make it in Canada. But I came today to tell you. According to Elijah. He said if I be a man of God. Then let fire come down and consume them. Jesus. Hey. Mighty God. Your friend Beverly Campbell said. 
you will never make it. You have to come back to Jamaica. Bibe kodobo kodobo ko sataya. You left. Adadabako sotodoboko. They were depending on you when you leave. And they desire for you to come back. But today I pray that those shackles will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this is why sometimes you said, I feel like just packing up and go back home. That friend of yours, I don't know anything about your friend, but this friend relied on you for everything. You were helping the friend. And when you leave Jamaica, glory to God, they became a, a hatred and it came from jealousy. But today I bind up that spirit of jealousy that is causing your setback. It's a spirit of jealousy and it's happening in Jamaica. How oh, could someone in Jamaica, oh God, desire for you in another country to not make it? Today we're sending fire. We're going with the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Matarabako Soto, we're going down there with the sword and fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, to destroy every work that they did against you to slow you down your problem is not in Canada your problem is left behind in Jamaica and today we finish it we finish it somebody go ahead and pray you better open your mouth and pray you better open your mouth and pray. Sister Gracia, you have been praying faithfully in your house. But the enemy is wrapping around your children. But today, as I raise up this sword, those who are fighting your children, those who are fighting your prayers, those who are fighting against their prayers, today, as I raise this sword, I put an end to the fiasco. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put an end to the abakosho toboko satire those who are fighting against your children my god as i raise this sword they're not fighting you they're fighting against your children because they cannot handle you sister gracia they can't handle you anymore so they turn to your children my god but i came today to tell you your son will come out of spiritual prison your children are coming out they're coming out somebody said her children are coming out her children are coming out of spiritual prison. Every every death sentence that have been said for your son. Today we cancel it and we're going to return it to the sender. Whoever is praying against him, today I'm sending fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, fire. Glory to God, I send the fire of God. And I seal this word in the blood. My God. Yes, Beverly. You'll be thinking that your problem is Canada. Your problem is not Canada. I don't know nothing about your life. But there is a friend that rely on you deeply for everything. May the Lord reward him. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Somebody say, woman of God, why are you so angry when you're praying? I said, when I was in sin, the devil had me. He had me on the left. The devil had me on the right. The devil had me in the center. The devil, the devil had me back and front. I did not know who I was. So now that I'm here in Christ, I'm standing up for you. Who are weak in the faith. Who are weak in the spirit. Who are weak in your prayer life. I'm standing up with you. I know what it is like to be attacked night and day. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to. But I know what it is like to be weak in the faith. 
what it is like to be weak in the spirit what it is like to be physically weak you wake up in the morning and you don't know what to do you wake up in the morning and you don't know what where to turn if you're to take a shower or to make yourself some tea you wake up in the morning and you're confused but we come against that spirit of confusion right now in the mighty name of jesus christ we said fire Hallelujah. Ramado Kosheba Kondolo Boko Sato. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is doing a new thing here. People of God, be in the spirit. If you are here in your flesh, this message won't benefit you. You better, you best leave. If you are here and you're not in the spirit, you know, it makes no sense for you to stay. Because it takes the spirit to understand the spirit. The flesh cannot understand what the spirit is doing. So be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and begin to share. The Lord said this month of June is pure warfare. This month of June, we are going to pray. We are going to stand in prayer and pray. Somebody go ahead and begin to share. We are praying. We are still praying. The Bible is here, but we are praying. There are some things that need to be done before we get into the Bible. When I was young, there was a song that says, Take up your gun and fight for war. I am a soldier come from God. I came to talk to somebody here today. I don't know why you came, but today I came to tell you, it's time for war in the spirit. The Bible said, God love war. God love war. And he's saying that you don't have to do anything crazy to win war. Just be on your knees. Just get into prayer. Just get into prayer. Win your battles on your knees. Don't go argue with anybody. Don't go fighting. Don't go fussing. Let us pray. Glory to God. Let us pray. Those who are speaking against you. Melvesta Powell. Rogboboko Shandoloboko Sataya. I don't know who sent you here. My God, I don't know where you came from. But I came to tell you. The Lord said, today is your day, Melvesta. Rantaya bakusheku. Robodo kosataya. Abate kandada bakadaba okosho. Robodo kosata. Raya dababa kosheya. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. And if you speak in tongues, pray in tongues. God is doing something here. My God have mercy. Maxine Campbell. Wabako shoko sata. Raya dababa koseya. You need prayer. Jesus, Maxine. You are surrounded by enemies. But let me finish with Mel, Mel, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. Because today we are declaring war in the spirit. And you will see it. You will see results. You will see tangibility in your life. God has entered into your personal space this morning. Hallelujah. Reya baba kosoto kodaba ya kashadaba. Glory to God. Every ebe kosataya. We're going to alter some things in the spirit. I hear the Lord said, I'm going to alter some things in the spirit. Some things in our house need alterations. Glory to God. Hey man, Terebia Korobo Kosa, Maxine Campbell, if you're still there, I encourage you to open your mouth and tell God to remove that enemy from your house, to remove that enemy from your life. You have a spiritual enemy. My God. Hey, 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 hey. There, there, there is a spirit that every night at midnight. Hell about Koshaya. Mabako. Maxine. I don't know you. I don't know you. And I pray that you are saved. I pray that you are close to God. Because there is a spirit at midnight every night. 
There is a spirit every night at midnight that I've been assigned. Oh, Jesus. This is why, Maxine, you get so easily tired. This is why you breed some kind of funny way. Maxine, no, I don't know you, but this is what God is showing me. You're breathing. Let me tell you what happened. There is a spirit that I've been assigned, and the spirit is slow poisoning you. Make a kodoboku sata. And this thing, no doctor can cure because it's spiritual. This thing, Maxine, is spiritual. No doctor can deal with it. They're going to tell you that there's nothing wrong with you. Glory to God. But I came to let you know this hour. Every plan of the enemy to finish you early. My God. They wanna be koshed. My God. They even attack your finances. The woman spirit is there with you in the day. The man spirit come every night at midnight. There's a bakoshe. It baba I cancel the work of the enemy on your life. And you know what the Lord is saying to me? You're tired. You're tired. You are tired. My God. You are expecting somebody to prophesy. I'm speaking to Maxine Campbell if she's still here. You are expecting somebody to prophesy good things in your life. But let me tell you what happened. Your life needs alteration. Number one. The enemy is attacking your money. Number two, excuse me for a second. Hallelujah. Hello? Okay. All right, I'm going to call you back. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Number one. They are attacking your funds. And when I say your funds, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you feel like you have to double check money. You have to check the money twice. You have to check the money again. And, and, and you, you can't, you can't, there's no one that you can accuse because it's spiritual, it's spiritual, it's spiritual. Number two, they're attacking your health. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, today, that spirit that come at night, that spirit that is assigned in the daytime, we destroy them right now. We send fire around you wherever you go, mighty God. As I raise up this sword, people of God, listen to me. It's time to pray. This is not a joke. You see me here sitting with this sword? Don't take it lightly. It's spiritual. Don't take it. Don't even take it personal. If I call your name and the sword is raised, don't take it personal. Just pray. Just say, Lord, help me. Hallelujah. The woman, the name that I call, Maxine Campbell. She's blessed. But I'm talking about two spirits that is assigned to her. There's a female spirit that is assigned in the daytime. And at night there is a man, a male spirit. And it comes at midnight. Sometimes she will find herself going off on people. I, can't, I don't even know if she's still here. Hallelujah, because this is deep. Sometimes she goes off on people. She will go off. And when I say go off, I mean seriously go off. But today we cancel any spirit that have been assigned to her life to destroy her. My God, because even her breathing, it's not normal. I came to talk to somebody here today. If you are here and you know her, pray for her. If you are here and you know this woman, pray for her. Because the Lord, she, she, this woman needs to be as close to God as this sword is entering the, my palm. The palm of my hand. 
She need to wrap up in Jesus Christ. The woman need to wrap up in a Jesus. Many of us people show us bad face. So we know that that's a bad face. But with her, they show her good face. In front of her, the face is good. So she is dealing with some deception. They deceive the woman. In her face, they laugh and they cheer with her. But when she turn her back, it's another story. But today, we stop it. Thank God I don't know her. For her to say, I'm tabakoroboko sataya. Thank God. Thank God. Jesus. My God. It is well. Maxine, you will call me with a testimony. Because God is about to remind you of today. And I seal every word in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, people of God. I was, I was not reading. I was not studying. I was browsing through the Bible this morning. The book of Isaiah chapter 59. And what God is saying. In the book of Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1. He said, listen. The Lord arm is not too weak to save you. So whatever you're going through, God is here. The Bible said, listen, God's arm is not too weak to save you. And he said, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. It's time to call out to God. It's time to call out to God. Jesus. Sister Derek Jackson, an opportunity is going to come for you to go to Jamaica. Something will happen and there will be a need for you to travel to Jamaica. When this thing happens, Call me and be on fasting when you call me and I'll pray with you. And when you are going to Jamaica, you're supposed to go on fasting, stay on fasting, come back on your fasting. So you're going to eat in the evening, but during the daytime, you're going to be on fasting. You're going to tie your hair Jesus, the Lord is ministering to me about you. Woman of God, pay attention. You're going to tie your hair and pray. The Lord is going to use you. Number one, you're going to have to be on fasting. Number two, you're going to have to be reading the word of God. Hallelujah. So I encourage you. I encourage you, Derek Jackson. The opportunity will arise for you to travel to Jamaica. Call me first before you travel. Call me when you're fasting. Make sure when you call me, you're on fasting. And that God will do the rest. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Karen Bartholomew, I pray for you. I pray for your strength. I understand that you lost your daughter. And I, I grieve with you. I agree with you. I spoke to you last year and uh, I just want you to know that I understand. It was brought to my attention that you lost your daughter. May the Lord strengthen you and bless you in this time and comfort you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God. People of God, don't be afraid. God didn't send me here to disgrace you. He sent me here to pray. He said pray. Pray for them. In the month of June. And this is all we're going to do. We're going to war. This is war month. This, Jesus. This is war month. People of God, it's time for war. 
the month of June. We cannot be comfortable. We cannot be relaxed. Some of us are too content. You know what verse 2 said in the book of Isaiah chapter 59? It said because of our sin, God cut off some people. Because of sin, God cut some people off. Hallelujah. Sin is a reproach according to the word of God. Sin is a reproach unto all men. Sin. Sin can cause us to lose our way. Sin can cause us to lose our way. So anything that's in our life that God don't get glory from, we have to get rid of it. It doesn't matter how precious it is to us. It doesn't matter how precious these people are to us. If they cannot pray with you, you don't need them. Ha! Hera baba kosataya, yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Gmanta rabako sataya, yes. Cover her in the blood. You see, the devil is wicked. The devil is wicked. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hela baboko shato. My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is faithful, people of God. He's a faithful God. God is very faithful. It's not the will of God for any one of us here to perish. I'm going to say something. Sister Abigail Philip, I remember the Lord used me to pray for your husband. But you were the one that was using his, his Facebook account. And I prayed for, for, for him. Now, you're asking for, lo for to be located. Let me tell you what God said about you. It's time for you to pray with your husband. It's time for you. It doesn't matter what you're facing. The Lord said, it's the Abigail Philip. The Lord is saying that it's time for you and your husband to pray. You and your husband have a very powerful ministry. It's time for you to pray with your husband. God will destroy some things that you guys are facing. But you have to pray with him. There are some issues that needs to be altered. Alteration need to take place in your house, but it's gonna happen when you pray with your husband, not to pray for your husband. Come in agreement, you hold hands with the man and you pray. That's it. And watch what God will do for you. Watch what God will do in your house. The alterations will begin to take place. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I remember you. I remember the day the Lord used me to pray. The Lord used me to pray for you through your husband's um, account. I remember. So, I have not forgotten. The Spirit of the Lord brought it back to my attention. So, go and pray with the man. And let God work things out. And the alteration will begin in your home. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. It is well. According to the word of God, the Bible, according to Isaiah chapter 59, it says, God's hand is not short. It says, listen, the Lord's arm. Let me read King James because a lot of people only focus on, yes, King James version of the Bible. Hallelujah. According to Isaiah chapter 59 in the King James Version, it says, Behold, the Lord hand, the Lord's hand is not shortened, and that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. So God is expecting you to open your mouth and talk to him. 
Sister Tamika, folks, God is going to bless you. Just stay focused and prayerful and don't complain. God is about to bless you. Tamika, folks, the Lord is about to bless you. He said, don't complain about anything. Just stay prayerful. According to the word of God, Isaiah chapter 59, it says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save you. Hallelujah. Neither is here heavy that it cannot hear. Verse 2, it says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. So many times the reason why God don't hear some of us is because our sin caused God not to hear our prayer. So the reason why there are some people we cannot pray for them because they are still they are still practicing sin and when we pray we're wasting time and according to Jeremiah the other prophet he said don't pray for some people because I'm not going to hear it because their hands are dirty. So what the Bible is saying here our iniquities it says but your iniquities have separated between you and your God that he will not hear for your hands are defiled with blood. And I'm just going to leave that right there. Obadiah, welcome. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just going to leave Isaiah ch chapter 59, 1 and 2, verse 1 and 2, right there. God is saying that there is nothing wrong. It's just our ways that need alteration. We cannot chop off any part of our body. What we have to do is change our ways. Be in alignment. So we have to set straight. When you were young, they said, pull up your socks. You cannot come to certain platforms and you're practicing witchcraft. The spirit of the Lord will be angry. There are a lot of things that are witchcraft and we don't know. Some of us have been practice, practicing this habit our whole life and we don't know that the thing is not of God. Some people practice some rituals and they said it is tradition. This is what we do in our family and they didn't know that it was a sin. So a lot of people are practicing traditions and tradition caused them to live in sin. And this is why they don't get their breakthrough because of tradition. So when we are Doing warfare, many of the people that we are fighting, we are fighting their spiritual life. We are fighting the things that they are doing. We are not fighting them physically. We are fighting them in the spirit so they can change. Oh, Sister Max, in your back. The Lord gave me a word for you, and I don't know if you dropped the phone. I don't know if you run away. I don't know what happened, but the Lord gave me a word for you. So now, now that I see you, I remember the Lord said... A couple have been assigned to your life. There is a woman, she's there in the daytime. And there is a man, he comes at midnight. They are on an assignment from the pit of hell in your life. It's destroying your health and it's destroying your money. So be on a watch. Read your Bible. It doesn't matter where you are. When it comes to midnight, open your Bible. I'm not talking your phone. Sister Maxine, if you are not sleeping at midnight, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Read your Bible. And if you are in bed and you're not sleeping, get up and read the Bible at midnight because there is a spirit that comes and it's slowly poisoning you. I'm done right there. I'm going to just drop it right there. They have assigned the spirit to your life to finish you. And you have to get close to God. I use this as an example. The way the sword, this is a physical sword. It's not, it's not fake, it's real. And the way the sword hit my palm, this is how close. Maxine, you need to wrap up in Jesus Christ. Wrap up in a Jesus woman. Wrap up in a Jesus. Sister Abigail, don't be, don't, don't be disobedient. I already talked to you. Wrap up in Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Let me share something with the people of God. All these scriptures, even if, if it's a lot of names that you cannot pronounce and you're reading it, pay attention. They all make sense in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, it makes sense. They're all connected. So you cannot just read one part of the Bible and don't read the other portion. You cannot read um, from Genesis to Malachi and stop right there. Jesus showed up on the scene in Matthew. Jesus showed up on the scene in the New Testament. The first chapter, Jesus, the first thing you see when you get to the book of Matthew, it's where Jesus show up. When you open the book and you look at Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, it starts to tell you about David and Jesus Christ. The first sentence in the book of Matthew chapter 1, it has Jesus and it has David. So Jesus show up on the scene in the New Testament in the very first chapter, the very first verse. So if you don't read the New Testament, you will never understand the Old Testament. If you don't read, hallelujah, I don't know who God is using me to talk to. But I encourage Sister Maxine, if you don't have a Bible, get a nice big print one. And if you have, I'm not talking about your electronic device. I'm talking about the actual book. There is something about you and the Bible. It's time. I don't know. Kodoboko, I don't know who your grandmother was. But as I pick up the Bible, Maxine Campbell, your grandmother presents herself before me. Let me tell her something. If you don't study the word of God, you're going to have serious issues. Your breakthrough is not money. Your breakthrough is in the word of God. Hey, harababoko sata. Oboko shataya. My God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, that's when Jesus showed up on the scene. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew 1, you see, it's, the new, it's where the New Testament started. So if you don't read the New Testament, you will never understand that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because when you read from Genesis to Malachi, it tells you about God. And they talk about in the name of God. And this is why I'm going to hit somebody this morning. This is why when Muslims are praying, they talk about in the name of God. But in the Bible, in the New Testament, it says in the name of Jesus. God said you have to come in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you don't read the New Testament, you won't understand how to pray. If you don't read the New Testament, you will never understand how to pray an effectual prayer. Hallelujah. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to this morning. But somebody is here that needs some serious prayers. You are here. Oh, it's you. Trisha. Trisha. Dennis. You need prayer. Hallelujah. And you're here. And you're in the spirit. Trisha, I'm going to pray for you. Trisha Dennis, I'm going to pray for you. I would like to pray for you. And one of the reasons why I would like to pray for you because the Spirit of the Lord is talking to me about you. Hallelujah. But Trisha, Trisha, write my number down. Write my number down. What I'm about to say to you. Oh God. Write my number down. I don't know if my number is there. Look at the top of the screen if you see my number. And when you call me. Said this is Trisha Dennis. That's it. I'm not going to speak to you on social media. Write my number down. I'm, I'm, I'm only expecting a call from you. And please, when you call me, don't call me with an audience because the Holy Spirit will show me. Amen. 
I want to speak to you in private. Hallelujah. May the Lord have mercy upon you. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. Sister Christine Kennedy, I'm calling your name, but I'm smiling. Open your windows. Wherever you are, open your windows. I don't know if mosquito is a problem. I don't know. But open the windows of the house. Please. And I'm not going to say anything else. Once you begin to open the windows, you're going to hear some sounds. And these sounds abakoroboko sharabako sataya. Rodoboboko roboko shenda la babako soto. Jesus, have your way, matara baba konoboko nalaba yaka shataya. Have your way at this address, oh God. Adabayandolo boboko soto. Riketebe yaka sataya. In the name of Jesus, I place this address. I place this house before you. My God, my God, Holy Spirit, uh, move through this house right now. Oh, bado oko sheba da kasate. Rembe de leke sato do boko soto. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, move to this house like a mighty rushing wind and have your way, O oh God. Jesus, let your will be done today, not tomorrow, today. Let your will be done today. We serve a God of now. Because there is a word in the book of Hebrews said, no faith. So we have a no faith to exercise. So today we're going to put it in gear. No faith. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I hear the Lord that I should pray against accident. And for those of you who are here that are drivers, and you like to drive, I pray for protection, divine protection against accidents. For those of you here who are passengers, I pray for divine protection over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm praying for passengers and drivers. I hear the Lord said, pray, I pray against accident every form of accident every accidents of all sorts i pray against premature death right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i come against it i come against it i come against premature death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come I come against accident. Every form of accident. My God, I see a fire. Somebody oboko boko saya. I come against that fire. That fire that will there's a host that is supposed to be set on fire. The host is supposed to be set on fire. I stop it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I stop that fire. I come against that fire. My God, it's not from the Lord. I come against it. Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. The word of God said, His ears is not deaf to hear you. The only reason why God don't hear some of us is because our hands are dirty. It's what the Bible said, Isaiah chapter 59. So this is why when I come here all the time, I'll tell you this. Clean hands and pure in heart shall see God. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Somebody go ahead and begin to share this broadcast. Somebody need a breakthrough today. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Lord, take charge. You see, there are some things that we want. But we want to do it our way. So we have to ask God to take charge. And step back so God can have his way. We have to step back so the Lord can have his way. We want God to answer our prayers. All of our prayers. And we are still in the way. We have to move flesh. Excuse flesh outside of the way so God can step forward and do whatever he said he's going to do for you. The reason why many of us don't get our breakthrough is because we don't understand the scripture. That we have to ask Lord to forgive us for our sins. The things that we are doing that is not of God. We need forgiveness according to Joshua. He said as for me and my house we shall serve the Lord. Declare these words as for me and my house we shall serve the Lord. Glory to God. Mighty God. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. It doesn't matter who pray for you and if you're not doing right, you're not going to get any blessings. It's a waste of time. So we are glad that God gave us the spirit of discernment. So we don't waste time trying to pray for the wrong person. There is such a thing as praying for the wrong one. Without the spirit of discernment, we waste time. Hallelujah. Yes, some people will ask you to pray for them. And they know good and well that their hands are not clean. Oh, you say you're open them now. Thank you, Jesus. Just use your spiritual ears, woman of God. Some things are happening in the realms of the spirit. Leave the windows open just today and watch. Just watch. Leave, just leave them open. Open every window. My God. Jesus. Oh God, have mercy this morning upon your people. Let your will be done. Jesus. Mighty God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Have your will, God. Let your will be done this hour. Glory to God. Somebody open your mouth and pray. It's time for us to pray. It's time. You see, you come here to check out the platform, but there is an opportunity to pray. Whatever you're going through, open your mouth and talk to God. Whatever you're going through, open your mouth and talk to God. It's said, he said his ear is not deaf to hear you. The only time God have deaf ears is when we are still in sin and pray. He don't want to hear it. According to the Bible right here, Isaiah 59, it said... The Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. It's your sin that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away, and he will not listen anymore. So it's because of sin. God turned away from some people. Somebody said, oh God, help me. Clean me up. Wash me off. Oh God, wash me off. Cleanse me now. From all my unrighteousness. 
Wash my hands, O God. If there is any iniquity in me, O God, remove it right now. Whatever in my life that does not glorify you, Lord God, take it away now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any sin that I have committed, oh God, forgive me. It's time to pray. The known and the unknown. Many of us, we do things and we don't even know we did it. It's unknown to us. Hallelujah. The woman, they trick her and took her to an Obia man. They told her they were going to take her to a pastor woman. And when she got there, the woman started to charge them money. She said, that's when I found a woman of God that is not a pastor. She's a witch. They trick her to take her beer. Hallelujah. So I came to Bakorobo Shataya. I came to let you know, let us ask God. Many of us have done some things and we are not even aware of it because we did not know it's sin. Why? Because we are not reading the word of God anymore. The number is at the top of the screen. Click at the top. The number is at the bottom of the screen and it's at the top. Somebody give that woman the number, please. Hallelujah. Jesus. Many people were tricked into doing wrong, into practicing uh, rituals or it was their theology of their, yes, it, the theology of their sin. Glory to God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Robo Koshat, I don't call people name here and tell you who is doing anything to you. God will never let me do that. Because a lot of people are here just to hear your prophecy and go and pray against it. My God. So, the theology of some people's tradition is to practice sin. They don't know. The understanding of their tradition is sin. So I'm using the word theology. Glory to God. So I encourage your people of God. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and talk to God. He is listening. Open your mouth and talk to God. The Lord is, He wants to bless you. He wants to bless you. God wants to do so much in your life. And the Lord is telling me right now that Obadiah, I can't pronounce your first name, so I'm always going to call you by your last name. Mujiyeni. Mujiyeni Obadiah. The Lord is going to surprise you. Obadiah. The Lord is saying to me that he's going to surprise you. The Lord will surprise you. Glory to God. He will surprise you. He will turn things around. You will be surprised. And you will know that this thing is not from man. It's from God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. So ask the Lord to wash your hands and wash your feet. There are some places that we go that we should never go on. So we're going to wash our feet in the realms of the spirit. Somebody say, wash my feet, O God. Wash my hands, O God. Anything that I have touched that is unclean, wash my hands. As I, let, let me see if I can get some. Holy water right here. Yes. Jesus. Lord, wash my hands this hour. As this water Yes, that's holy water. Wash my hands and feet right now in the name of Jesus. So go ahead in the realms of the spirit. Wash your hands. As I pour this water in the realms of the spirit, wash your hands and your feet 
in the battle coso to as i pour bokosha pour this holy water wash your hands and your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from anything that you touch, anything that you touch, any place that you have been, that you are not supposed to go, wash your hands and your feet right now in the spirit realm. Mighty God. Anything that you have touched and any place that you have been that you were not supposed to be wash your hands, wash your feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hey! Glory to God. It is finished. I seal every word right here in the blood of Jesus Christ. I seal it. Whatever the Lord said about you, I have sealed it with your breakthrough. My God. And I break every curse that they place upon your life. Yes, we have the holy water here from Israel. Right here. And the anointing oil straight out of Israel. Don't hesitate to get your portion. People of God, listen to me. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is a faithful God. Sister Maxine Campbell, I don't know you. I, I, see, I see you on social media. But I don't know you. But you need to, do it. You need to tie your head with prayer shawl. Yes. You need to get into a serious covenant with God and build a prayer life. God wants to use you more. You have a ministry lock up inside of you and this is why the enemy is trying to work against you. That's it. But they will never prevail. Get a nice big Bible. Maxine, I don't know if you have one. And get a prayer shawl to tie your head. Study the word of God. They are supposed to be afraid of you. But they are not afraid of you. Your enemies are not afraid of you. They don't fear you. In your face, they laugh with you. When you turn your back, they stab you. But you don't see it because you think everybody is cheering for you. No, not everybody. Not everybody is cheering your well-being. No. Hallelujah. So I came to let you know, be wise. According to the word of God, be wise. Use wisdom. Jesus, glory to God. Yes, surprise. Yes, Kojo, God is going to surprise the man. So you can tap into it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, I laugh. Because whenever I laugh, it means that someone received their deliverance. Someone received their breakthrough. Someone received from the Lord. Warfare cannot stop because your enemies don't stop. So when you come here and we are doing warfare, join in because our enemies don't rest. The plan of the enemy is to rob, to kill, to destroy. Our enemies don't take any break. Satan is always active. So when you stop praying, Satan get busy. Hallelujah. Any place that you have gone that you know you should never go. Wash your feet in the spirit. Wash your hands. Anything you touch. Many of us have touched some things and it was after when we find out that the thing is unclean. Hallelujah. Jesus. You're right, woman of God. I'm waiting. I know you're waiting. God said it. He confirmed it today. If you have been waiting, it's because... Yes. So it's confirmed. Oh. Glory to God. God is confirming his word right here. People are calling with testimonies and all I do is just laugh. And I said, to God be all the glory. To God be all the glory. Great things you have done. And greater things are ahead of you. So I just want to say this right here. If this message has blessed you, go ahead and be a blessing to the ministry. If this message has touched you, you know this message was yours. I encourage you. The number is 860-634-8557. You can support the ministry through Zelle, Cash App, or PayPal. Hallelujah. 
And I just want to say this right here. We do charity. Our charity continues. Every month, someone from this platform get money right here. Hallelujah. Yes, we do charity here. So every month, the Lord blesses people right here financially. You see, God don't make promise and don't fulfill them. So let us be obedient and do what God said. Let us be a blessing to the ministry so the ministry can be a blessing to those who are in need. Glory to God. Once a month, we bless three people. Number one goes to the ministry and two others will be blessed. And it based on the amount that we receive, it will be for four people. Sometimes, yes. So I encourage the people of God. Give cheerfully in this time. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. My God, excuse me. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. So I encourage you to go ahead. And if this message has blessed you, may the Lord touch your heart to be a blessing in this time. I pray that the Lord open doors for you that will give. May the Lord restore whatever you give, restore it back to you in a thousand folds right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, touch the heart of your people in this time and let them enter into their season. We decree and we declare it done. This message has blessed you. Go ahead and be a blessing. Oh, she's saying it's true. <laughs> yes, Sister Maxine, the Lord has spoken, and whatever God said right here, it is it, it is to the T. Whatever God said here, God never lie on this platform. God never lie on this platform. So I encourage you to be obedient, people of God, and bless the ministry. Amen. You can use Zell, you can use PayPal. Or cash up and if you don't have any of those you can text me on whatsapp and i will give you information how to be a blessing to the ministry god bless you all my time is up i have to go we don't ask for anything in particular whatever god touch your heart god leave you see god knows your heart and he's leaving you to your conscience so whatever he said go ahead and do it have a blessed day happy friday to all my time is up. I have to go.